Search warrant lands a woman behind bars yesterday afternoon accused of illegal gambling practices. SNN's Crystal Knowles has more. This parking lot may look empty now, but neighbors say over the weekends it's filled with cars and sometimes it overflows to neighboring businesses. According to Dave Bristow, Public Information Director for Manatee County Sheriff's Office, it didn't take much for this establishment to be under law enforcement's radar. You're driving down the road and you see an establishment that, uh, huh, I wonder what that is, and you go and you, you do a little further investigation and it's quite obvious what it is. After a brief investigation and a search warrant, 54-year-old Fala Coleman was arrested on charges of operating an illegal gambling establishment, possession of slot machines, and operating a legal lottery. 111 computer monitors and 79 computer towers were seized. If you wanted to use the slot machines, basically the computers were the slot machines. Tamia Mosley lives around the corner. I didn't know it was a casino, but okay. I was surprised because I'm like, well, dang. I didn't know these people, this many people be up here. Bristow says these types of underground gambling places are not new to the area. He says Coleman had a similar operation in Palmetto. We're very much aware of her. The cash payout is big. In between three and four thousand dollars, and we were in there around noon. Mosley has some advice for gamblers. Some people have lucky hands, but if it's that serious, go to Hot Rock. They're legalized. Bristow's warning for operators. As long as they pop up, we're going to close them down. In Bradenton, Crystal Knowles. I think a lot of cash goes through these places. SNN Suncoast News Network. And her bond was set at $3,120 and she bonded out.